Today we're going to remove the non-skid from your bathtub. So you'll need some safety goggles for protection as well as some gloves. A razor for stripping as well as a paintbrush. Some paper towels, a plastic cup or any old cup, knee pad for kneeling, and a stripper. We recommend Citrus Strip because it is an eco-friendly stripper. So now that you have what you need, we're going to go ahead and get started with our application of Citrus Strip onto the non-skid. Remember, you need a paintbrush or you can use paper towels if you don't have a paintbrush to spread the Citrus Strip. Open it up and you don't need a whole lot. Just sprinkle it in there in the area over the entire tub. We're just going to do a little portion here. I'll use the paper towel since that's what I would do if I were doing this. And spread it. Nice thick coat over the non-skid. And then you're going to have to let it sit for about 20 minutes so that the chemical can make its way through the non-skid so you're able to strip it. So 20 minutes have passed and we're ready to strip the tub. So get your stripper, get some paper towel in your hand, and have a bag ready to, for your refuse. Starting at the back edge of the tub, take the blade underneath the non-skid and just start working it through, wheeling it up. You'll see it sort of wheels up in a clump. And this under here is my uh, original bathtub surface. So just work through the tub, peeling the finish up, and work throughout the entire tub. Now, when you get done with the tub, you want to take your non-skid and the citrus strip, bring it to the bag, and just put it in there. Because you're going to want to throw this out in the garbage. should not let any of this go down the drain. Both are eco-friendly, the, the coating and the citrus strip, but still you would want, never want to pollute the water like that. Now that everything has been removed from the tub, there's no remaining non-skid or citrus strip, let's go ahead and rinse the tub out with your cup. Starting at the back of the tub, so you can wash it down toward the drain. Instead of letting the water run and having the tub fill up, let it run down the drain between each one. It'll make it easier for when it's time to wipe it down. And then you're done and your tub's like new. Thanks for listening.